Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I'm carrying on with my light-hearted look at royal patronages today and I am using the Mystic Mondays Tarot again. Bit of a shiny box, a bit of a shiny deck. Sorry about the glare. Put your shades on if you need to. But uh, we're going to be reading now on Prince Harry. And the fact that he has been replaced as patron, royal patron of English rugby, it was a very prestigious role, one that gave him a lot of fun. Uh, he travelled widely with him, drank apparently prolifically with the English rugby team on occasion, 25 hour drinking binge when they lost the World Cup in France, if I can remember correctly. So say the newspapers. But he's been dropped, dropped by the team, and uh, they've picked instead and uh, that's the first patronage of Prince Harry to be reassigned officially reassigned had to be done because the Six Nations is coming up they need a patron they need Catherine there in the stands cheering them on and uh, very interesting so I'm going to be using the Mystic Mondays tarot to see how Prince Harry is feeling about this losing this prestigious role and the fact that it's been taken over by his sister-in-law and uh, she's going to be the one uh, in the in the pound seat from now on, cheering them on. And uh, he is going to have to be watching it on uh, probably pay uh, pay TV uh, from his home in Montecito, his very unhappy home in Montecito. And Ace of Swords is the underlying energy of this reading, five card reading. Ah, uh, that is clarity, that is decisiveness. A decision was made, a very shrewd decision, a very uh, forceful decision with that Ace of Swords. We want a new start, we want a new patron, we're very clear about it. We're going to make a wise decision, a, co uh, a cold decision, a rational decision. We're going to get rid of you, Prince Harry, and we're going to start over with someone who's more trustworthy, more reliable, and uh, who actually wants to be in the country and wants to be involved with uh, us and what we represent, the country we represent. Very interesting. So, heart of the matter for Prince Harry, the magician. Uh, the magician. So that's an interesting card because it's about manifesting. It's about um, really, it's a bit of a trickster energy and I don't think that he thought that this would ever happen with that card, the magician. I think that he thought that he could conjure this, he could um, keep it, he would somehow be able to have that one, uh, one foot in America, one foot in the UK role. If he just thought hard enough, if he just manifested it enough with all the, that intention, all that stuff that Megan has no doubt taught him, um, all her new agey stuff she's learned uh, allegedly at her mother's knee, then uh, he would he would be able to manifest things. He would be able to keep his treasures and he would be all powerful. Uh, but it hasn't really quite worked out that way, has it, Harry? Uh, as we can see from the Ace of Swords. But I think he really thought that he was so powerful, so important, that they would never take this away from him. He could control the situation and manipulate the situation. It's very manipulative energy, the magician, even when it's in the upright. So, uh, contrary to what that card says, he has not manifested in his joy with this um, English rugby patronage. How does he feel now that he has lost it? And uh, we get the two of wands. That is not a negative energy. Um, it's a partnership card. Uh, I think, you know, I honestly think, looking at this card, the two of wands sitting next to the magician, I think that he thinks that it's still his. It's still in his back pocket that any time he comes home, um, Catherine will step out the way and they will receive him back. Um, as the prodigal, here you come, we love you, Harry, we adore you, you are the most popular son of England, and uh, we'll have you back and we'll ditch Catherine. Um, mm, delusion, delusion, but the two of wands is about partnerships, is about plans, is about uh, schemes. We've got two cards of plans and, uh, plans and schemes sitting next to each other. 
So I think that he thinks that this business is not finished. This isn't a done deal. This isn't um, signed and sealed and forever. I don't think Harry understands the concept of contracts and signing things and sealing things and forever. I really think he has no grasp of what a contract is, even though he was brought up in the British aristocracy, noblesse oblige, your word is your bond. All of that stuff seems to have missed Prince Harry completely. But uh, let's see how he feels about the fact that Catherine is now in his place uh, in the stands. Knight of Swords. Again, I'm getting the idea that he thinks he can fight this. It's a very um, combative energy around the Knight of Swords. Swift moving. Uh, he may think that it's all happened very quickly and it's ta has, um, ta he's ta been taken aback by the fact that it has all happened so quickly. Um, that's the one thing that could come from this and it is sitting above the Ace of Swords. So yes, he could be a bit shell-shocked from how quickly it has happened. Um, but again, because of these other energies in this reading, I get the idea that he thinks that he can fight this at some level. Who knows? Maybe he's going to sue uh, for his role back like he's trying to sue to get his Royal Protection Officers back. Uh, but there is this kind of really competitive energy around that card, the Knight of Swords, and that strategic planning and manifesting energy that's backing it up. I, th I honestly think he thinks he can fight this and he can win. Um, what is going on behind the scenes? I, I left these cards really quite open, um, the fourth and fifth cards of, the, of this reading, just to see what else the universe wanted to tell me. So what is going on behind the scenes here? Eight of Wands, there it is. This communication, this fight back from him. Uh, emails flying to and fro, phone calls, phoning people in the rugby world, probably phoning people like Mike Tyndall, family member. Of course, um, anyone else that's a, a mate of his in, in the English rugby team, trainer, training side of things, players, who knows. Um, he's phoning, he's, he's on the phone, he's messaging, he's, he's working this. He is really trying to get this back. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing energy. It shows how utterly deluded they are. And I have to tell you, I've just had my eyes drawn to the second underlying energy of this deck, which is the Five of Pentacles. It's the card that was sitting under this Ace of Swords. I don't normally look uh, uh, down that deeply into the underlying energy. I know that some readers go quite far down um, the underlying energy. I don't. Uh, one's normally enough for me, but the Five of Pentacles caught my eye sitting. I've got the deck sitting on the side of the spread. You can't see it, but it's right next to it. And the Five of Pentacles draw my, uh, draw my, drew my attention, the outcast card. And yeah, he doesn't see it yet, but this is, this is for real. This um, being cast out and being replaced, this is for real. And uh, it's interesting that the Five of Pentacles, uh, the chain mail of that character that the character is wearing matches the chain mail that that knight is wearing in the Knight of Swords, something I've not noticed before, but now I do notice it. So, so similar energy there. He has been cast out. Outcome. Outcome. And it's the Six of Swords in reverse. This is this is a done deal. This is not going to um, improve for Prince Harry. It's done. Uh, he just has to actually realize that it is done. It is over. Six of Swords, when it's upright, you can get in your little boat and you can row yourself away from your pain and your bad memories and the terrible things that have happened to you, your mental suffering, your anguish, you can sail away from it all and put it behind you. Even if sailing away means literally sailing away or getting on an aeroplane and putting distance between you and your troubles. Six of Swords in the reverse means you cannot do that. You are stuck in the mess. You are stuck in your pain and your difficulty, your difficult circumstances. He made this bed, he's lying on this bed. He hasn't quite realized it yet. He definitely hasn't realized it yet because of this hidden energy, what's going on behind the scenes, all this messaging, complaining, but, but, but I'm sure he's writing to granny, trying to phone granny, trying to phone, phone a friend, anybody that will listen, he is phoning now and complaining to, he's not going to win this battle, it's done. 
It really is done and it was done very decisively and it was done with the highest authority from that Ace of Swords. And no matter how much he thinks he can manifest and how much he can plan and strategize and team up with people with that Two of Wands, it is not going to happen. Prince Harry, uh, really, we know you're going to wake up and see what has happened to you, how your life has literally disintegrated around you. When is that ever going to happen? Uh, we'll have to look at it again soon. But that's the reading for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow.